Hi everyone, it's Sheree from Sheree's Crafty Girls. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to make this super little treat box. It's very similar to a milk carton um, box, but it's narrow here and longer here, whereas the milk carton's pretty square. But it's very simple and very quick to make. I think it's very, very super. Lovely size and um, inside. You're going to see me struggle with tying this up again later. But there you are, look at that, isn't that a super side? Lots of treats in there. So, very quick, and I say very easy to make. I think these are super quick, and with Halloween coming up very soon, I should be making some more of these in some Halloween paper. So, I will make a tutorial for those at a later date. Let's see if I can quickly tie this one up. But those that follow me know that I'm not very good at bows and they don't tend to go very well. But that's that one's not, not too bad. There we are. So this one um, I used, gosh, I think it's, it's pumpkin pie it's called. La, la, la. Yes, pumpkin pie. And I used the card stock. From, oh, I think it's a fruit stand or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. So, as I said, I'm going to make another one of these and I'm going to use some Halloween um, cardstock or something. So, watch out for the tutorial on that one. But today, I'm going to make it in a Christmas type box. This I pre stamped using snow place and I used the big snowman, the little snowman and the ivy, uh, the ivy, the holly bush I should say, it's not ivy at all and the hat and what I should have done is actually gone ahead I might quickly, quickly, quickly do that now with some pumpkin pie very quickly and using, I'm going to use the blender pen because I just I haven't got time for the watering pot to dry it and I'm just going to colour in his nose orange just like so just quickly colouring in Just add a bit more colour as well, doesn't it? And it's so quick and so simple. If you've got the markers, you could use that, couldn't you? And then to take a piece of um, baby wipe, clean the nib, and then wherever the lid is, pop that away. And you get three blender pens, which is super value. I think they're fantastic for just doing a little bit of colouring like that. And it just adds a little bit of colour to our snowman's nose. So let's get our scoring tool, our scoring board. And we're going to score on the long side two and a half inches for six and a half and eight. Then pop that round so short side. Little bit is at the bottom, short side at the top, and we're scoring that at one and four and a quarter. Is that right? Yes, four and a quarter. Pop that round again so you've got um, the narrow piece to the left on your marker side, and you're going to come down. I think, did I? Do? Yes. Oh, I've missed. I've missed two and three eighths out there. So it should be. So we should one, two and three eighths, and four and a quarter. Turn it round, and you're going to from the one inch. You're going to come down. Was it one inch? Yes, one inch, and you're going to on the first score line that goes across. Just put a little notch. 
and the same at 5 inch. So find your 5 inch, come down to the first score line and just put a little notch. Keeping your stylus in your hand because we're going to do a little bit of diagonally scoring. So take a steel ruler and from the point where your corners meet, on your second score line down you have a corner. I don't know, the light's not brilliant is it? Let's see if we can do it this way. So on your thin edge you have come into your first score line corner and you're going to come up to where you've notched then come down to your next adjoining corner and do exactly the same in this one so you come from the corner to the notch from the notch to the corner okay so taking your steel rule in the corner oops I want the, I want the thinner one and come up now you might not need quite a bit of force because you haven't got the grooves that you would have on your scoreboard. So corner to notch and the same on this one. Corner to notch and again here corner to notch. Let's see if I can show you. So you have a diagonal on either side. Makes a little triangle. Right, so taking a bone fold up, we're now going to fold and burnish score lines. Okay. On one of these I put a window in there. So I just used the very smallest oval that I could and I popped that on this one, I believe. Let me have a look, I can't remember now. And then I used the smallest oval with the next one up to make the little border and popped in a window sheet which I thought was quite nice as well. So we're going to take away the very bottom rectangle, we're starting on the end furthest away from the triangles, cut up those score lines and this forms the base of your box. We'll just check that's the back of the box. So, right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come to the top and we're going to take away with the, tri the, the narrow edge at the, side, at the front, then the triangle. We are literally going to cut away the whole of the top until we get to the very last rectangle and we stop and we keep that one. Okay, so if you're going to put a window in, you would need to put your oval in here and then pop it through your die cutting, uh, your big shot and that would put your window there. So now crease your diagonals and give them a good finish and they want to go inwards towards the inside so pattern on the outside you're folding them in okay a bit fiddly because they're so tiny but make sure they have a nice nice burnish and they meet at a point that's very important that they meet at the point. Okay, and we'll do exactly the same as send. And again, there. So really burnish. There we are. And then we are going to put some sticky strip because it's quite narrow. 
done our tab. I'm going to just show you because the, the tab is slightly narrower than the actual sticky strip, so it sticks out just a fraction. But once we take the backing off that it, sticky strip, we just fold the excess back in on itself and that will be fine. Okay, so it's all nice and inside. Construction box. And there. Look at that. The flap, flap comes out. Oh, I forgot to round the corners. You don't have to, so it's going to be a bit awkward now. But I really want to round my corners, which I should have done beforehand. You don't have to. As I say, I just have a thing about rounding my corners. So this is the front of your box, so keep that flap forward, bring in your sides, bring down your back using whichever adhesive you prefer, making sure that it's nice and aligned, bring over your box, and there, isn't he super? Just squeeze him in. Now what I did for whoops, my lid, I mean you can you can use a magnet if if you've got those, I don't have any or some velcro, whichever, you could just tie it round with a bit of ribbon. But if you're going to punch, uh, use tie it the way I did with some baker's twine. I'm just going to punch two little holes. As evenly as I can, like so, and then I brought the lid over, that wasn't very even, my goodness me, I must be blind, I need a pen now, there it is, and I marked the box, that's not very even, I'm sure you'll make a far better job than I did there, make some other little hole, there. I'm just going to get a little bit of ribbon. What should I use? Let's have a little bit of the lace. I love lace. And it is the, it is the um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, lace trim and it's in vanilla, very vanilla, so it, it goes perfectly with this one. So pop that through, through the top hole. down so it's over the top of your flap to go in inside the box and then it comes back out the other side using your pokey tool you just grab a little piece and So it's over the top again and out through the lid. There we go. And then bring the lid over. Let's see, should we try there? And then we struggle with the bow as I normally do, but I'll give it a go. Throw your box about, tie your knot. Very extravagant with the ribbon, but that's fine. Tie a pretty little bow on your box. Oh, that's not a bad bow. Let's just trim it up a little bit. There. Surely that's not a bad bow the first time. And then you could either put a little label on it. Nice little label on the front. I think that's really super. And as I say, I'm going to make a one for Halloween a bit later on, but I think that's really pretty for some candy in there for Christmas or a nice summery. Looks like a deck chair, doesn't it? 
But there we are. Two lovely little treat boxes. Pardon me. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please like and subscribe. I'd love to... Um, no, that's, that's not what I was going to say. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the tutorial. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Oh dear, it's been a long day. Um, if you'd like to purchase any of the products used in making this project, please come and shop with me. The link is below. If you'd like to come and join my team, I'd love to have you on board. Again, the link is below. Or go to my blog where you will find all the measurements for this project and many others and you can shop from there or join my team from there. Until next time, take care. Bye.